I run a business called Show Me Pickers. I buy all kinds of things, old, odd, unique. I also like to make stuff. I guess that goes with the territory. This is exactly right here is kind of what we're going to make. That ain't a very pretty representation, but the mold is what it is. Um, pretty much, this is a lead smelting pot. I take lead, something similar to this, old, something like this. You just take it and you drop it down in this pot. It gets it real hot. Um, I make my own little ingots. I try to melt all my scrap lead into something like that so that it just, you know, fits right down in there. It'll melt. Um, easy for me to handle. It's a lot easier than having all this dirty, filthy stuff around. Whenever you do melt your lead, something you'll see, you'll have a lot of, is something similar to this. It's a bunch of slag. It's junk. It's just nasty stuff that's left over from oxidation and other processes of chemistry that I don't understand. But this is a lead mold to make the toy soldiers. It's is what it is. It's from the 1960s. Came in the kits. You know, I don't know how kids survived back then. They um, played with lead and all kinds of other interesting things. And well, we're neither here nor there on that. Um, but this is the mold that you use to make lead. This is a nice little brass melting pot. Um, so what you do first is you turn your lead melter on, you let it get warm, you let it heat up for about 20 minutes, um, and then what I always do is I take my lead, uh, mold and I set it up here, and I let it get warmed, and the reason is, is because it's an intricate mold, and if you don't, lead cools really quick, like, if you look, like, look, it just, bam, it's cold. It's, it's already cold to the touch. Look at that, it's already hard. So the important thing is, is that you want your mold to be hot. Because if it's cold and you start pouring cold lead into there, what ends up happening is you don't get a good looking soldier. What you end up getting is a soldier with a missing leg or, you know, not doesn't have a grenade or something like that. Um, whatever you know whatever some some of these molds are extremely intricate you know so you just want to make sure that you have all of uh make sure your mold heated up so next step it's pretty easy once you get it hot you just set it underneath here like this once i lift this lever the mold will come out and it'll fill each of my holes now this is where it gets to be kind of a little bit of an art form let me make sure the camera's adjusting right um this is where it gets to be a little bit of an art form because you got to be quick you got to pay attention here you can get burned if you look at my gloves there's all kinds of lead stuff all over it and um lead whatever you call it you know splashing is what i call it because it splashes everywhere it'll burn your arm you can get burn marks it's, it's pretty easy to pretty easy to get tore up with this stuff um so normally what i do is first thing i want to do is Make sure that any of the impurities on top of this lead, I take a regular teaspoon, it's got a long enough handle, and I'll take it and I'll clean it off because you don't want to get that in your in your mold. You want it to be nice and shiny. Let me bring this over here so you can kind of get an idea. See, that is what liquid lead looks like. Just a nice big spoonful of liquid lead and you want it to be shiny like that because if you look over here i've got some slag and you'd be surprised actually how much of your lead is going to come off and be you know useless slag like that so anyways i don't need to make this longer than it is um what i do here is i take this lever and i lift it up and i pour it in the mold then i take and i lift it up pour it in the mold and then I take, and I lift it up, and I pour it in the mold. Okay, if you notice here, now it's dripping. See, that happens, and what you do is this type of pot's got an adjustment up here. You turn it, and you're done dripping. You want to let that set for just, not even a minute, I mean, you can let it set for just a few seconds. And it'll uh, be ready to take apart but they're really hot. I mean, you make several of these, your molds can get really hot, so you wanna be careful, make sure you don't burn yourself. You pry it apart like that, and there you go. That's the process of making 
uh, the lead soldiers, it's pretty easy. A lot of fun. Um, as I said earlier, kids used to do this back in the 60s, and, you know, heck, that generation turned out okay, I guess. Well, this is John from uh, Show Me Pickers. I appreciate you watching my video, and have a good night.